So in this video, we'll talk about relational operators. Now, what is relational operator? So let's say you are, you are applying this operation. Let's say we have we have two values. One is five, and second is three, and we want to check if five is greater than zero. Sorry, five is greater than three. So whenever you say this sign, which is greater than sign, and this is less than sign, so we are checking five is greater than three. So this operator, it will return a value either one or zero. If it is true, so if five is greater than three, it will return one. So just to demonstrate, we'll say, uh, we'll say result equal to, so we have int result equal to five is greater than three. If five is really greater than three, it will, it will give the value as one. Otherwise it will give the value as zero. So let's try to print this value. So we'll say printf and we'll specify percent %d and we'll write result, okay? And let's run this. So if you run this code, you can see the output is one. Again, we want the new line, so we'll say slash n. So you can see the output is one, simple. And if I give a wrong input, if I say five is less than three, which is not true, right? So it will return zero. And if I run this, it's zero. So specifically, if you say in C programming, true, true means one and false means zero. So whenever you see one, it is true, zero is false. Now, unfortunately, C directly doesn't support true and false, which is Boolean value. So it supports one and zero. So whenever you want to achieve true, we say one. Whenever you, achieve one, you want to achieve false, we say zero. So five less than three, is not true which is false that's why it is zero simple so this is one type of operator we have one more operator let's say we have we want to check we have two values three and three we want to check if they are equal so to check if something is equal we need to use double equal to because see when you talk about this equal to sign this is called as assignment so it will fetch the value from the left side sorry right side and it will assign to the left side example if i say int i equal to six so I'm assigning a value six to I, so that's your assignment operator here. So equal to is assignment operator. But in this case, we are not assigning, we are checking. So that's why we have to use double equal to. So when you want to compare something, we have to use double equal to, clear? And now if I run this, it will print one because three is equal to three. What if, if I say seven? So is three is equal to equal to seven? And the answer is, false right it's not equal and it will return zero so we have less than operator we have greater than operator we also have less than equal to operator so it simply means if three is less than or equal to seven yes three is less than seven right and if you run this it says one now if i make this also three so it's not less than but it's equal to so three is not less but it is equal to three again it will give you true which is one so we can use less than operator, greater than operator, less than equal to, double equal to. We can also use not equal to. So when you say not, so we have to use exclamation, which is not. So three is not equal to three. And since three not equal to three is false, it will return zero. And let's say if I change this to four, so three is not equal to four. Of course, three is not equal to four, so it will return true, which is one, one, right? So those are all your relational operators just to list it down let me use multi-line comment so for multi-line comment we have to use star slash star or star slash okay so we can use multi-line comment here so we have less than operator we have greater than operator we have less than equal to we have greater than equal to we can use double equal to we can use not equal to this these are the operators are available which are relational operators available in c programming so that's it thanks for watching and do subscribe